What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 10.1.1 to the public and in this video I'm gonna be doing a review of iOS 10.1.1 on my iPhone 7, letting you guys know exactly what features came with this new version of iOS 10 and I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the performance along with the jailbreak, so let's jump right into it. So first off, I am running iOS 10.1.1 here on my iPhone 7. It was about 63 megabytes for me and as you guys can see, all it really did was fix an issue where the health data could not be viewed for some viewers so essentially if you were going to go into the health application you can now actually view your health data if you were having an issue with that outside of the health data issue fix that's really all they released on the iOS 10.1.1 update before I actually get into the speed test about storage as you guys can see here here's the screenshot of my iPhone beforehand I had 98.7 gigabytes free after the update I currently have 98.9 gigabytes free so you do gain a little bit of space through this update it's a very small update but that's always a good thing when we gain some space space back. I did a Geekbench on the speed and performance of the operating system. This is iOS 10.1. We have 3452 single core and 5611 on a multi-core on my iPhone 7. And after the update, we do have 3379 and 5585. So a very slight difference, probably unnoticeable when you're actually using the device. Now something I did notice is actually the animations. I know I spoke about this in my last video of iOS 10.1, but they have been fixed actually in iOS 10.1.1. And I actually did find a fix if it's not working for you. Anyway, go into general. I had an accessibility feature on in the triple click home button. So basically if you go all the way to the bottom here, you should see an accessibility shortcut. If you click that, you will see any of these options if you do have that clicked it will not work so for example if I if I click any of those you won't be able to actually click out halfway but if you uncheck all of them you can click out halfway of loading an application makes your device a lot quicker and I know that was a big issue with iOS 10.1 I think a lot of people thought it wasn't working but I did discover that on reddit that is a fix for you to fix the iOS 10.1 animations on iOS 10.1.1 as well so overall guys it is about the same in performance you do gain a little bit of storage back and you are able to use the health application now if it wasn't working for you. That brings us to the jailbreak and a lot of you guys are wondering when are we going to be getting a jailbreak? Well, unfortunately no new news has been released about the jailbreak. It's in the same state as it was with the iOS 10.1 firmware. Apple keeps pushing out these updates constantly every week now which makes it hard for the jailbreak teams to make a jailbreak that is actually consistent with the firmware. So I think Apple's really trying hard to prevent a jailbreak so we're just going to have to wait and see but I would still say by year end is a good chance that we would see it. There are the older firmwares which they may try to jailbreak first such as iOS 10.0.3, 0.2, and 0.0. So we're going to have to just wait and see for that jailbreak when it's going to be released. I will keep you guys updated here so be sure to click the subscribe button and like the video for more updates. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to stick around for more content. I've also got all of my social networks down there in the description for you guys to check out and some other cool things down there for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps absolutely free. So anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video. Enjoy iOS 10.1 1.1. It's got some great performance with it and it brings a couple of bug fixes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stick around and thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Peace.